Hey motherfuckers, this is Z-Man, coming out today with a new contraptions video. I know it's been a long time, but I finally uh, just kind of made something that I really enjoyed and I thought was pretty interesting. Um, anyway, so this build has a lot to do with uh, command blocks and scoreboards, so if you guys have any questions about that or if you don't really know uh, what these or how to use these, uh, please let me know contact me on Twitter or in the comments, and I might think about doing a tutorial on uh, on both command blocks and scoreboards. Um, anyway, so let's get into this. This is a, uh, a machine that counts the number of Minecraft days that you have survived, and it resets when, uh, when, you've, um, when you die, basically, or when you've been killed by someone or your friends. Uh, this is pretty cool. I thought um, it might be a good idea to, like, maybe do this on a server or something. You guys can compete on who survives the longest and then just go and kill whoever's on the top of the scoreboard just to spite them, basically. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, so let's let's get into this. Um, so I'm going to tell you guys how to create this. Ah, God damn it. Um, so you start off by creating two scoreboards that, you, uh, that will keep track of the numbers and everything. Um, yeah, nice. My my uh, weather machine activated. <laughs> um, anyway, so what you do is you go scoreboard uh, objectives add. Uh, I've already created these, so I'm not actually going to do these. But um, also post these in the comments below. Uh, so you add, then uh, one of them is called days, and it's a dummy scoreboard. So there's nothing actually, or you're going to have to add stuff to it yourself. There's no like actual um, trigger that does it. Uh, unlike the other one, the other uh, scoreboard that we're going to create. So that's the first one. That's actually what we're going to be displaying to people. Uh, so we're going to add deaths and then it's going to have death count. So what that's going to do is it's going to count, uh, it's going to add one to the scoreboard deaths whenever uh, you die, basically. Um, and we'll get into uh, how I use that later. Uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going to uh, look at the uh, the day counter. Um, so what I use is I use a, uh, I use a daylight sensor and uh, four blocks of red, or yeah, uh, four block wide line of redstone uh, this is so that it um, it still counts a day even if you sleep through the night. You can set this so that uh, so that it doesn't count that. So you have to survive the night in order uh, in order to count a day. Uh, but I really haven't gone into that, so you can uh, mess with that if you want. Uh, anyway, so it does that, and what it does is it uh, activates this command block, uh, and what that does is it tests for a player that uh, has a death count of zero or a minimum of zero, but basically only zero. Um, and so if it finds a player that has a death count of zero, uh, then it activates this, uh, this comparator, and uh, which powers this block, powers this, powers that, powers that, powers, 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 blah, blah, blah. blah. Um, anyway, this goes into an AND gate, um, which power, like, which either lets this uh, redstone torch activate or uh, keeps it Una or deactivates it. Uh, so if um, blah, 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 sorry, um, this also this uh, this daylight sensor also goes into this. This is basically like to tell whether or not it's day or not. Uh, so that I'm testing if a player has a minimum of death of zero, and if a player uh, or if it is if if it just turned day. Um, so if that player uh, has zero deaths um, and it's day, this will uh, this will become active and hit this command block. What this command block does is it actually adds uh, to your day's score. Um, so it finds a player with a, with a death uh, with a death count of zero. Basic, it, it's, it says minimum of zero, but it's basically zero because I always reset it, and I'll get to that in a second. Um, but, so it, founds, it finds all the players with uh, 
a death count of zero, and then adds a day to them. So you survive the day, gives you a point. There you go. Uh, that's basically what it is. Um, next, we will get to the uh, the death. I guess I would call it the death resetter. Um, oh, also I have this lever right here, just uh, just so you guys know. Uh, so you can have a lever here and a lever here. Um, if it's already daytime, you can flick this lever. You can flick this lever. Like right now, it's uh, this this machine is inactive. Uh, so you can flick this lever, and it will keep this machine thinking that it's day. Basic. That that's kind of the idea. Uh, but if it's already night, put a lever right here and flick it, and it'll keep this off. Um, just in just in case you want to like turn off the machine, wait for some reason or whatever. Um, it's just a good way to s of stopping it. Uh, this one, however, is like a clock, so I just put a lever here so that it stops because it does kind of cause lag, which is something to be concerned about if you have like a huge server. This would probably best be best if uh, you only had like a couple people on your server, just like a group of friends, a small group of friends or something. Um, anyway, so what this does, I want to turn it on, uh, and it tests for a player who has just died, so who has a death uh, a death count of one uh, or a minimum of one. Um, so it finds a player uh, that has a death count of 1, uh, deactivates this, and allows this clock to activate. Uh, what this clock does is it uh, resets your days to 0. Um, it, yeah, it resets all the players who have uh, a death count of 1 to 0. So it does that. And then it goes ahead and... Uh, it sets the or it removes um, one of your deaths. So if for some reason you want to, uh, <laughs> if, if for some reason you accumulate a couple deaths before this activates, um, it goes ahead and just cycles them through and just gets them down to zero. Um, but you can you could also just go ahead and do scoreboard players set um, those players deaths to zero. But I just went ahead and just removed one um, because that'll almost never happen. Um, also, for some reason, you need a, yeah, that that needs to have at least two ticks, I think, in order to like not um, not burn out. Um, just in case, just in case someone has more than one death. Um, but normally it'll be fine. Uh, so yeah, if if you guys don't know, this is how this this clock is set up. You have a block here, redstone torch block, a repeater facing into that block, and then a uh, redstone dust there and that'll activate this um, this command block and I have the basic basically the same setup right here um, also a thing to keep in mind is that you need these command blocks in this order uh, you can flip this around um, so that it's this way kind <laughs> just basically this way uh, but you need to make sure that you're you're setting their days to zero because uh, you need to make sure that you're setting their days to zero before you reset the deaths. Just because um, you are make you're you're checking which players you're resetting to zero by the death count. So you want to make sure that you don't set that to zero before you reset their days. It it just confuse the system, or it it would make the system not work basically. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Actually, um, if you guys want to see it kind of working, here we go. Um, so I just I just displayed this in the sidebar. There's there's other places that you can display it, but I I won't get into that right now. Um, so I can go ahead and turn this off. I think this will work. No, <laughs> uh, I'll just break a piece of redstone. Uh, so my my days alive or days since resurrection. That's just what I label it as. I got set to one, two, three, four, whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, and then I have this command block right here, which just sets my death to one. And then this, this uh, resets it. Um, another thing to keep in mind, if you're if you're going to play, or uh, if you're going to use this on a server or something, uh, you're always, when someone joins, or at the very beginning, you're going to want to uh, do this command, at least at the very beginning, you're going to want to do this command. It'll set all everyone's death count to one, and then that will go ahead and go into the system, and it'll add them. It'll automatically add them to the days uh, scoreboard. Um, otherwise, if someone comes in late, 
and you already have people counting up their days that they've that they've stayed alive uh, in order not to reset everyone's you can go ahead and just do scoreboard players add that player's name uh, deaths one and it'll only uh, it'll only add that player uh, to both scoreboards with this system it'll just this this specific system it um, it just automatically adds uh, uh, a player to the day's scoreboard once you uh, once you're added to the death scoreboard uh, and I think that's basically it uh, if you guys have any more questions go ahead and leave them in the comments or you guys can always contact me on Twitter uh, I've been spending a lot of time on there um, yeah, if, if you guys are interested in the command block or scoreboard tutorials, please let me know. Um, I, I have some other command block slash scoreboard related stuff that, I, uh, that I've been messing around with, and I might make a video about them, um, if you guys are interested. I, I, I want to know if you guys want <laughs> those videos, otherwise I'm just going to maybe not make them. I, I, might, I might do it for fun, but uh, who knows. Um, anyway, I think that's about it, uh, and I will catch you motherfuckers later. Bye-bye.